Well, it's time for tennis on the Sportsmax Zone. For the first time since 2007, Jamaica will host a Davis Cup fixture. On February 4 and 5, the Jamaican team of Jacob Bicknell, Blaze Bicknell, Roland Randy Phillips, Daniel Lazar and 19-year-old John Chin will face Estonia at the Eric Bell National Tennis Center. Tennis Jamaica president John Azar says he expects the team to be prepared and united in their bid to make the country proud. He joins us now. Good afternoon. Good afternoon, Mariah. Thanks for having me. Good afternoon to your listeners, George. Good Excellent. Afternoon. You're welcome. So just give us you know, an insight as to how preparations are coming along. All right. It's been difficult. It's been challenging. Let me not say difficult. When, you, when I attend an international event as an attendee, you go in and you see everything looks fantastic and you just kind of think it yeah. happens. The reality when you're on the other side, there are a lot of things that you have to meet with the ITF in this instance. But thank God, I mean, it's been a lot of work, but we're on target and I have no question that come February 4 and 5, we'll be ready to host a fantastic first class, first world event. Definitely looking forward. Give us a bit of information about the venue, the work that has gone into the venue, because I heard it's looking extremely good. All right, so the court surface, I think the existing surface would have been, would have passed the ITF standard. But to be honest with you, as I say, we're looking to host our first world event. So the court surface for the four courts has been redone. Um, the lighting at the event, it's not only lighting that's there. We have first world lighting. I mean, the ITF has certain requirements for a tie like this. Yeah. And when we use the light meters throughout the court, we're significantly above that. And then there are other things that you don't even think about. The security plan is extensive because they have set the tie at a certain security risk level for whatever reason. Um, then you have locker room requirements, you have transport requirements, you have very specific branding requirements. Truthfully, it's been a learning experience, but it's been a fantastic one. I mean, right, good and one. Estonia, the competition is February 4 to 5. So when do they get to Jamaica? Um, uh, the Estonia team is actually coming in early. They're coming in tomorrow. They start coming in tomorrow. So they have an advantage? <laughs> wouldn't say that. I'd say they're coming in early to try and make up for a disadvantage that they okay, have. Got it. So they're coming from very, very cold weather. They're coming from a totally different time zone. <laughs> but yes, they are coming in early to acclimatize, which I think is they're just trying to get back to a position neutral, if you call it that. Yeah. So I've been waiting. 2007 till now would be 16 years. 16 years. 16 I years. was what I think I was about what six or seven then at six the last <laughs> time. <laughs> you only can imagine me. I was a zygote. <laughs> well, so I was a boy. <laughs> <laughs> so here we go. So I, I remember that tie well. Yeah, that's yeah. the last time. That's the last time we hosted a Davis Cup tie here yeah. in Jamaica. So, so I remember that because I was, I, I, I not long left the university and was working in media. And Ed Barnes was the head of sports at the at, at my employer, and he made it clear that, look, uh, tennis doesn't get the coverage it deserves in Jamaica. So you guys have to ensure that around this time, Davis Cup, and he had a good relationship with Dougie Burke, and uh, he said, look, you have, to, you have to cover. So we did a lot of tennis coverage, and we, we, we were very much a part of what happened then. So it's been a long time between innings, uh, if we were to bring cricket very, into it. Very long. Yeah. And we can, I can come back and talk cricket with you, Tina, George. Of, of course, cricketer. I know that. I know that. Ask, yeah. ask, ask Ricardo. our good friend, Lollipop. Lollipop. Yes. Yes. Well, you can. Uh, oh. It's been a controversial name here at Sports Pass for Ricardo. That's but there you, that's there you go. There you go. Yes, so um, yeah, it's been 15 years, 16 yeah. years. Mm -hmm. And I think that to get a handle on really what the achievement is, mm -hmm. the last time Jamaica qualified for Group 2 was in 2009, mm -hmm. prior to 2021. So yes. we've qualified in 2021, 2022, and now in 2023. Yes. But prior to that, it had been in excess of 10 years. So no. It's a big achievement. It's a very high standard. And yes, as you say, we haven't hosted an event like yeah. this here for, for and, a and, very and, long and time. And the evidence of the last three cycles shows that whatever you're doing has produced a result that is not a one-hit wonder, but it, there's sustainability. If it is that three cycles going, you have reached group two. So here's the thing now, though. I saw some a narrative on how the team was selected. And I said, well, this makes sense. And it also takes the sting out of any criticism that the, there isn't enough transparency or any at all in how the team is selected. So I want you to, for the benefit of the viewers, just articulate what it is the, 
the, the path to selection is and why Tennis Jamaica felt it necessary to publish the criteria that players have to meet to get a, a, a foot in on this Davis Cup bus? Well, I think that's a very good question. The reality is I think selection, by its definition for whatever reason, mm -hmm. tends to possibly court some amount of controversy. Everybody has an opinion. For sure, especially everybody, among our people. And, and in any sports, <laughs> everybody knows who should be on the team, mm -hmm. who, how the team should be selected. What I would commend our technical committee for is we have selection criteria. They're clearly stated. The technical committee, as they've done in the past three or four ties, does a very good job at blocking out the noise from wherever it comes from, whichever yes. quarters it emanates, for whatever reason, and sticking to the tasks that they have and selecting a team based on that criteria with the input of the captain and coach. So the mm -hmm. reality is, as asked today, what about has a controversy set? The truth is there's never any controversy. Yes. Four members of the team were named from in November. Yes. The fifth member, the captain, felt that no player had distinguished themselves as such. So he wanted to have a training camp in December and watch the results of the All Jamaica that we were having. Mm -hmm. Now, one of the players who was not previously considered because he said he was not available to play yes. in December, he said he's now available. Yes. And we're flexible enough. He played in the All Jamaica. Mm -hmm. He did very, very mm -hmm. well. He won the All Jamaica. Mm -hmm. So the captain took that into consideration. Mm -hmm. Ultimately, mm -hmm. he was a player selected mm -hmm. for the fifth spot. Mm -hmm. But as I said, there was no controversy. Mm -hmm. But sometimes, I guess, personalities are different. We had to deal with fictitious press releases being sent to the press saying this person had been selected when mm -hmm. the technical committee hadn't even met. Yes. And sometimes, you know, my temptation is every time there's noise to try and get to it. Yes. But sometimes when we're working yes. and we're busy, sometimes the best thing to do is to block it yeah. out and yeah. just focus. But mm -hmm. the reality is last thing on it, as I say, the selection criteria was shared, mm -hmm. it's public, mm -hmm. and hopefully each time we're selecting a national team, Unless we veer and deviate from that stated selection criteria, it is what it is. Excellent. All right, so we're out of time, but before we go, just tell us where our viewers can get tickets if they want to watch the Davis Cup. Well, the first thing before saying that, you need to get tickets quickly. Yes. Because they went out to the ticket outlets yesterday, they're available online and they are going fast. So we have a number of outlets in Kingston and Montego Bay, I'll tell you quickly. We have um, Tennis Jamaica, which is Eric Bell National Tennis Centre. Ligani Club, we have Fontana Barbican, yeah. Tutti Frutti Loshusan, in Montego Bay we have Fontana Fairview and Tutti Frutti in Montego Bay as well at Fairview. So tickets are available but they are going fast and as I say we're looking forward to a fantastic two days of tennis cards. Thank you. Excellent. So I'm going to call my friend Andrew Azar and tell him that I'm going to buy five tickets, but I must get some free Tutti Frutti with it. <laughs> Perfect. Right, that sounds like a deal. There you go. And Andrew is a deal maker, as you know very well. All right. So there you go. So John Azar, thank you very much for speaking with us. And uh, yeah, Tennis Jamaica, Davis Cup in Jamaica, Estonia, the rivals. It's big level tennis. Come out and support your local team. <laughs>